Alamo School bought 25 textbooks and 35 exercise books for 13,500 Kenyan shillings from Bookshop A. From the same bookshop, Soma School bought 21 textbooks and 38 exercise books and spent 1,300 Kenyan shillings less than Alamo School. Take X to represent the price of a textbook and Y to represent the price of an exercise book. 1. Form two equations representing the above information, two marks. 2. Use matrix method to determine the price of each item, five marks. 3. In bookshop B, the cost of a textbook was 5% less and that of an exercise book was 5% more than in bookshop A. Kasuku School bought the same number of textbooks and exercise books as Elamu School in Bookshop B. Calculate the difference in the amount spent by Kasuku School and Elamu School. 3 Marks That is a question, the first part of the question, form two equations representing the above information. So taking x uh, to represent the number or uh, the price of each textbook and y to represent uh, the cost of each excess book. So there are 25 textbooks in total. The cost of one textbook is x shillings. So the total cost of the textbooks will be 25 x. Then the price or the cost of one excess book is y. So the total excess books is 35. So the cost, total cost for all the excess books would be 35y. And this one uh, should give a total of 13,500 shillings. Then um, there is this one for the Limo school, uh, summer school. The summer school bought 21 textbooks. So the total for that will be 21x. And then 38 excess books. Now uh, that will be 38y, the cost of all exercise books. Now this one, given that um, they spent uh, 1300 less than a limo school, the first expression, that is the first equation, is for a limo school. Uh, the second one is for summer school. And given that um, the second school, that is summer school, spent 1300 less. So what are you going to do? You're going to take 13,500 and then we less 1300. And this one you get 12,200. 12,200. So this is a 12,200. That is the second equation. So those are the two equations representing the above information. Uh, part two of the question, use matrix method um, to determine the price of each item. So what you require to do here is to simply use the matrix method to solve this simultaneous equation. Now one thing you're going to do, we're going to simplify the first equation, 25x plus 35y is equal to 13,500. If we simplify that, if we divide all through by, by 5, uh, you notice here we get 5, be 5x plus uh, this one will be 7y is equals to divide 13500 by 5 and you notice that this one will give um, 2700 give 2700 that is the first equation simplified the second one i don't have any common factor that you can use to simplify this if i try to divide these um, let me see i don't see i don't see any common factor so i'll just write it there it is 21x plus 38y is equals to 12 200. now after writing that we're going to extract the coefficients of x and y now this is what you're going to extract are the coefficients of x and y to write uh, these in matrix form so we get 5 21 that is when we extract the coefficients of x then the coefficients of y are 7 and 38. And then we are looking for x and y. And this one should give uh, 2700 and uh, 12200. Now this is the simultaneous equation you're supposed to use the matrix method to uh, solve. How do we solve this? 
Uh, to solve a simultaneous equation using matrix method, we begin by getting the inverse of this matrix, 5, 7, 21, 8. And to get the inverse, um, so let me write this, inverse of the matrix, of this matrix. And these, uh, we start by getting the determinant of that matrix. Uh, how do we get the determinant? We take this row, which is uh, 5 multiplied by 38, and then we subtract um, this product of that diagonal, which is uh, 7 times 21. Uh, this should give the determinant. So use a calculator to work out these. And when you work out using a calculator, very well, this one should give a 43. Should give you 43. Now, after getting the determinant, now to get the inverse, uh, we get uh, so we now go and get the inverse of that matrix. And to get the inverse, we begin by taking uh, one over the determinant, one divided by the, the, the inverse of the determinant, and then. Uh, we interchange these values, so this one we get 38, uh, negative 7, 38, negative 7, then negative 21, negative 21, 5. So that is how we interchange uh, these uh, elements of this matrix when you're getting the inverse. Uh, that will be now the inverse. You can leave it uh, like that or you can multiply by 1 over 43 which will give 38 divided by 43, negative 7 divided by 43, negative 21 divided by 43, and 5 divided by 43. So you have two options. You can decide to leave it like this or like this. Now, after I'm getting the inverse, we multiply both sides of the equation of this matrix equation by that inverse. So I will take uh, 1 divided by 43 this is 38 negative 21 negative 7 is 5 and the matrix is um, 5 21 7 38 5 21 7 38 uh, that is the matrix then x y this is uh, x y then the other side we must pre-multiply by that inverse which is 1 divided by 43 and then this is 38 negative 21 negative 7 and 5 and then uh, this value 2700 this is uh, 2700 then 12200 like that now you notice that when you multiply this part that is here you will get uh, an identity matrix you will get an identity matrix which is 1 0 0 1 of which it has no impact uh, just like multiplying by 1 at uh, this part uh, the right hand side is what is going to give us the solution and uh, to do this we can write this one as 1 divided by 43 and then uh, we've already done uh, this multiplication of matrices we should in case you have any problem, you should go back to the revision. So how we multiply these, uh, this will be uh, 38 multiplied by 2700. And then um, subtract um, negative 7 times 12200. Uh, that will be that part. And then... This is the first row. The second row, we shall have negative 21 times 2700. And then this will be 5 times 12200. Uh, working out this, uh, you notice that for the left-hand side, when you multiply this, you end up with x, y. The identity matrix is does not uh, give any impact to this, just like multiplying by 1. And uh, this, for this part, uh, you will get, um, let me try to multiply these. You get 1 divided by 43. Uh, for this part, 38, the first row, the first row, when you work it out, so you get 17,200. Then the second row, the second row, this is a 21 times 27 plus 5 times 
12200 you get 4300 4300 so that is what you get uh, when you multiply this one multiply this one out you get x y uh, this one should give uh, multiplying each of these elements here this matrix by 1 over 43 you will get uh, this will be 400 that is 1 over 43 multiplied by 17 200 you get 400 and this one will give uh, the second one 1 over 43 multiplied by 300 you get that so now this means x is equals to 400 and y is equals to 100 i remember what x represents x represents uh, the cost of a textbook and y represents the price of uh, an exercise book so that is how you're supposed to use the matrix method uh, to solve that part now let's go to the other part now in the second part in book should be the cost of a textbook was five percent less than that of um, an exercise book and that of an exercise book was uh, five percent more than in bookshop a kasuko bought uh, the same number of textbooks and excess books is the limo school in bookshop b calculate the difference in the amount spent by kasuko school and a limo school so um we need to get the amount uh, spent by this school called kasuko and uh, the cost of a textbook was five percent less uh, than that of um, and that of an excess book was five percent more so let, let's start with this textbook the cost was five percent less so assuming or taking the original uh, cost is a hundred percent so when it reduces if, if it is um, five percent less it will be 95 so let me start with the textbook for textbook this one will be 95 percent because we take the original as a hundred percent that is the cost so after getting these are uh, five percent less you get 95 percent then multiply by uh when you look at the cost when you look at the cost of um you just uh, got the cost of a textbook it was 400 it was 400 we've got it here the cost of one textbook was 400 and then how many are they in total uh the one that are bought by these um the same 25 textbooks because they're the same that are bought for kasuku school and new school so there are 25 books so this will give the cost now after reduction of this so when you work out these um using a calculator um you should get um let me try to do this calculation here So this is um, 95 multiplied by 400 multiplied by 25 uh, then you divide by 100 so this gives a uh, 9500 uh, then uh, for the exercise book uh, for the exercise books uh, we given that they were five percent more so as you are taking the original as a hundred percent so if it's five percent more it will be 105 percent then the cost of uh, the excise book was 100 and uh, the number of books bought were um, original they are just here they are 35 they are 35 because they are the same for a limo school and kasuko school so this would be 35 so working out these again this is 105 multiply 105 multiply by 100 multiply by 35 is equals to then when you divide this one by 100 you get that t let me repeat this 105 something made me 105 multiply by 100 multiply by 35 then we divide by 100 that's 675 that's 675 that is the cost of all the exercise books so what are you supposed to get now uh, we're supposed to get the difference in the amount spent by kasuku school and elimo school so kasuku school in total kasuku school in total spent for the textbooks 9500 then for 
exercise books 3675 so the total for these so you get 13175 13175 shillings so that is the amount spent by Kasuku school so the one that you need to get is uh, for Elimu school but uh, Elimu school spent um Elimu school spent uh, given here uh, it is here uh, Elimu school spent 13500 13500 so 13500 so we need to get the difference between these uh, amounts that is what you're supposed to get the difference between Kasuku school and Elimu school so this one should give um, 13500 subtract 13175 so 13500 subtract 13175 we get 325 shillings this was the difference that is how you're supposed to solve that question